welcome to Chico State, one of the most important and welcoming campuses in the California State University system. Whether you're in class, eating at the Bell Memorial Union, or spending some time in the residence halls or student communities, you'll notice an important feature here at Chico State. If you look closely, you'll see it right here. And here. Need a hint? Or have you caught on yet? You guessed it. At Chico State, nothing is on fire. Not this tree. Not this building. Not even this sidewalk. And you know what? That's exactly how we like it. This is Todd and Sierra, two new students coming to Chico State. Wave at the folks at home, kids. Oh, nice attitude, Todd. Let's see how that works out for you. Now today, we're going to introduce Todd and Sierra to Chico State's policy of things not being on fire and give them some pointers on how to keep things not on fire. If you follow along, when you come to Chico State, you too will be able to keep things not on fire. Some of the best guidelines and rules for things not being on fire have been drawn up by the Department of University Housing and Food Service with feedback and input from fire safety experts and residence hall experts, our own university police, and the Chico State Office of Environmental Health and Safety. That's a lot of brain power to keep things safe and unburned. This is Corey Brady of the University Housing and Food Service Office. Let's listen to what he has to say about fire safety on campus. As you can imagine, fire safety at University Housing and Food Service is very important, as our students' safety and well-being is our top priority. As such, we do insist that students do not bring anything that can produce an open flame. That includes incense, candles, or smoking inside or within 25 feet of any of our residence halls. Now, as it pertains to appliances, we ask that students do not bring things like hot pots, George Foreman grills, or toaster ovens. But the most common danger inside the residence halls are extension cords. The phenomenon known as daisy chaining, where students link multiple extension cords together to gain extra length, is never allowed. Using devices known as splitters, where you can plug multiple devices into one wall unit, can cause the wall unit to overheat and create a fire. Now these are just the highlights of the fire safety policies. But for a complete listing, visit our website, www.csuchico.edu slash housing. Under our quick links, you'll find Living In, and there you can find all of our policies and our fire safety policies for living in on-campus housing. Those are some good rules to follow, and it looks like these Chico State students are taking them to heart. What's the payoff? As you can see, things continue to be not on fire. How are those rules treating you, Sierra? What about you, Todd? Oh, that's nice, real mature. You know, let's say something happened. Say, if someone wasn't as careful as Sierra and something did become on fire at the residence hall. Uh-oh. In this case, what should Todd and Sierra do? How now, brown cow? You paying attention now, huh, Todd? Well, we'll probably be back with you in a minute, buddy. Things being on fire in a residence hall is something Chico State officials have had to contend with before. A few years back, Someone wasn't following Chico State's policy of things not being on fire and lit a candle in their residence hall room. Pretty soon, a part of Whitney Hall was on fire. Thankfully, no one was injured, but it's not something we want to see repeated. And here's someone who can help outline how to keep things not on fire. This is Ken Seda, Director of Environmental Health and Safety, who's in charge of fire safety here at Chico State. Ken, what should someone do if a fire breaks out at Chico State? The, the main thing is to have a plan before an emergency happens uh, to evacuate uh, an occupancy for any reason. Once a semester, in the beginning of the semester, we will hold unannounced fire drills for a couple of reasons. Number one, to test the system, and number two, to go ahead and ensure that the students that are staying in, in the dorms uh, get familiar with what the emergency bells, lights sound like and how to react to them. So have a primary plan already figured out how you're going to get yourself safely out of the, the building and also think about a secondary means of, of escape, a secondary route, just in case your primary is, is blocked for some reason. Never to go ahead and assume that the, the alarm that's being sounded is a drill or a test. Assume that everyone is, is the actual thing and, and, and react appropriately. Immediately get up. Don't worry about any of your possessions. That, that is secondary at this point. Move immediately toward the fire exit. Never take an elevator when the alarm is sounding. You always have to assume that at some point the elevator may not work or may fail. Move toward the stairs calmly. Move quickly and with a purpose. Do not run. Exit the building. Uh, notify the proper authorities. Go to the predetermined selected assembly area. 
Uh, don't leave that area. Try to account for those that you know should have been in the building and now should be out of the building. Um, and then don't go back into the building for any reason until told to do so. At least someone was paying attention to fire safety and not acting like some Johnny Reb cooler than thou Weisenheimer. So good work, Sierra, and good for you on getting out of the area safely and calmly and looking out for other students. In addition to evacuating the affected areas in a fire incident, there are also some things students can do to combat fire in certain situations. To maximize safety on campus, we have fire safety equipment at state-mandated locations around the residence halls and student communities. Pull stations, smoke detectors, horns and strobes are just some of the safety features we have. To help you get along with our policy of things not being on fire, we have fire extinguishers on every floor in every building on campus. And here's a brief demonstration on how to use them. This is Brian Mose, Chico State University Occupational Health and Safety Coordinator. He knows a lot about fire extinguishers, and here's a taste. Now he's set up a demonstration for us to show you and Sierra how to extinguish fires with what else? A fire extinguisher! Anytime that you use a fire extinguisher, the first thing you want to do is pull the pin. You want to aim the hose at the base of the fire and squeeze and squeeze at the same time. Let's see Sierra put that into action. Perfect. So that's Sierra 1, fire 0. While it looks like fun, it is a very serious duty. Tampering, playing with, or otherwise misusing fire safety equipment could lead to severe penalties. We also have a not going to jail policy for our students here at Chico State, and we'd hate for you to break it by tampering with fire safety equipment. This means you, Todd. On top of that, we also engage in regular, unannounced fire drills to keep you familiar with the best way to leave an area if there is a fire. But what if you live in one of the residence communities such as University Village or the Concow Houses? Are there any more guidelines you should follow? As a matter of fact, there are. Because students living in University Village or the Concow Houses have different living amenities than the residence halls, there are some special things to consider. For example, UV apartments and the Concow Houses have kitchens and stoves, unlike traditional residence hall communities. Because of that, students living here need to be mindful of cooking and kitchen safety. And Anna Lynn knows all about that. Some good kitchen safety tips are to not leave anything flammable around the stove. Um, a prime example is leaving a pizza box on top of the stove. Um, anything can um, knock one of the knobs over and start that oven and then uh, that could uh, start the flammable item up into flames. So you definitely want to be careful of keeping everything away from the stove. When it comes to um, grease or grease fires, uh, you definitely want to make sure that when you are cooking and uh, there's a lot of grease or a lot of grease splatter that you want to really clean that area up thoroughly. Um, also, you want to become familiar uh, with your fire extinguisher. Every uh, kitchen has one. Um, make sure when you move in that you take a good look at the instruction manual and uh, see how to use that uh, because it may come in handy if, if you happen to have um, a kitchen fire or if something kind of goes up in flames while you're cooking. If, if you happen to be in a situation where uh, a grease fire occurs in the kitchen, you definitely don't want to put water on it. Uh, what water does to a grease fire is it actually makes it bigger and it makes it spread. What you want to do is, is you want to um, quickly grab maybe some baking soda or something like that to put out the flame. Otherwise, you can grab your fire extinguisher and uh, put that on the grease fire and that should take it out as well. If the fire extinguisher and baking soda don't work, don't try to be a hero. Use the nearest pull station to alert other students in the area. Then contact proper authorities and get the firefighters there as soon as possible. Uh, students at University Village uh, have a kitchen, so naturally um, there are certain things that they're allowed to have in the kitchen that a lot of students that live in um, the regular residence hall rooms can't have. However, when it comes to their particular room, the same rules still apply. Candles are not allowed at all in any of the rooms or even the kitchens of University Village. Um, incense is also not allowed in the students' individual rooms or in the kitchens. Um, those are very important policies. It's a very strict policy that uh, we adhere to for student safety. You're not allowed to have halogen lamps. Halogen lamps are also a big fire hazard. Um, also, uh, you need to be very careful of bringing um, extension cords. 
uh, all extension cords have to be surge protected in order to be in the room to also um, make sure that the room is uh, safe and nothing can be flammable. When it comes to smoking, University Village is a apartment-like environment and it seems as though it would be reasonable to assume that you could smoke or have a candle or, or burn some incense or um, even have a hookah in, in your room. Um, those things are not allowed at all at University Village because of the, the fire safety hazards. There have been small fires that have started from students who have uh, smoked in their rooms and didn't put it out quite properly and it did start um, a small little fire. So we have particular smoking areas that the students are allowed to smoke at. But they're definitely not allowed to smoke into their rooms. Well, kids, it looks like you put Anna's words to good use and cooked up a nutritious meal without setting anything on fire. Great job! Now, before we leave you to get the rest of your great education here at Chico State, let's review the rules we've learned so far. Or better yet, let's don't. Because don't is what you need to remember. Don't bring halogen lamps. Don't bring extension cords that aren't surge protected. Don't daisy chain extension cords. Don't overstress electrical wall outlets. Don't have open flames of any kind. Candles and incense, this means you. Don't use hot plates. And whatever you do, don't put out a grease fire with water. Better yet, use baking soda or fire extinguisher. Don't let your kitchen area get dirty with grease, trash, and things that can catch on fire from a stove burner. Don't smoke inside. Don't bring flamethrowers, fireworks, fire hula hoops, or unlicensed rocketry equipment capable of orbital flight. Don't tamper or play with fire safety equipment. And finally, don't hesitate to contact the proper authorities if you see a fire. There you have it. Chico State not being on fire and how to keep things that way. Thank you for watching. And we'd like to point out that these rules and guidelines can help you keep things not on fire at your home and work too. With some smarts and a little care, we can all move forward into a future where we all have great college experiences with things not being on fire. Thank you for watching. Ta-ta.